Over the past few years, Obsidian has become a favorite for people who want to organize their ideas and knowledge in one place. And honestly, it keeps getting better. With updates to the core software and some incredible community plugins, it's more like a complete knowledge operating system now. If you haven't opened your vault lately, there's a lot you could be taking advantage of. In this video, we'll walk through seven tips and tricks that help you go beyond simple note-taking and turn your collection of notes into a connected, queryable system that actually works for you. This year's biggest upgrade to Obsidian is the Bases Core plugin, and it's honestly a huge step forward. It takes what we used to do with data view tables, like keeping track of projects or reading lists, and gives it a cleaner, more structured way to live inside your vault. In short, Bases turns your markdown files into a real database that feels native to Obsidian. Here's how to use it. When you open the command palette and run the Bases command, you'll get a new .base file. Think of it like opening a spreadsheet inside Obsidian. You define a schema, which acts as the foundation for your data. Each property you add becomes a column. You can label them as text, date, number, or checkbox, depending on what you need. For example, let's say you're tracking your book collection. You could set up columns for title, author, status, and rating. Once that's ready, you can connect your existing notes or create new ones directly from the base. The best part is that whenever you add something, Bases automatically fills in the front matter for you. It keeps your notes structured and consistent without you having to do the extra work. Your data's set, so now it's time to visualize what it actually means. The Extended Graph plugin turns the usual Obsidian Graph view into a functional dashboard. Start by installing it and opening the Extended Graph pane. Inside the settings, you'll find an option to change how node sizes are determined. That single adjustment makes the most referenced nodes appear larger and helps you instantly spot the hubs of your system. Next, explore the Custom Colors section. Here, you can assign colors based on note types. These visual layers make it easier to understand how your ideas connect. Lastly, use the Configuration Save feature. You can store multiple setups, for instance, one focused on authority mapping and another for project tracking. Switching between them takes the seconds. When you're done, what used to be a decorative graph now acts as a live map of your notes' relationships and influence. Backlinks used to be the backbone of connected thinking, but they've reached their limit. The next step forward is semantic linking. Instead of linking notes with plain double brackets, you'll start defining the relationship type between them. Using inline data view properties, you create what's called link predicates. These can describe specific relationships, like supports, contradicts, or is source for. So, rather than just typing this, you'd format it like this. That supports field defines what kind of connection it is. Once you enable visualization in the extended graph, the system color codes these relationships, green representing supportive links, red for contradictory ones, and blue for references. The visual feedback makes it instantly clear how your ideas interact. Over time, this turns your vault into a full semantic knowledge graph, one that not only maps out links but understands the logic behind them. If you use the Kanban plugin to manage your projects, you know it's great for keeping things organized, but it's annoying when your cards and your notes don't match up. That's what the Kanban status updater fixes. It automatically keeps your notes front matter in sync with your board. To use it, install both the Kanban and Kanban status updater plugins. Then make a simple board with lists like to do, in progress, and done. Each card should link to a real note. In the status updater settings, choose the property you want it to update usually status now whenever you move your card from one column to another that change shows up right in the note so if you move a card to done the note will now say status done no manual edits no confusion 
Anyone who's tried working with markdown tables knows how tedious it gets. Spacing, alignment, and constant reformatting. The Advanced Tables plugin makes that experience completely different. It gives you the comfort of a spreadsheet while keeping everything in markdown. You just type this symbol and press tab, and a table structure instantly appears. Moving between cells is smooth. Tab moves across, enter moves down. The plugin even takes care of formatting so your table always looks clean. But what really sets it apart are the formulas. By opening the sidebar through the command palette, you can create functions like this to add up data right inside your note. It feels natural and efficient, perfect for people who track budgets, monitor habits, or just want a smarter way to handle numbers without leaving Obsidian. If you study or learn new things often, spaced repetition can really help you remember better. And now, Obsidian makes it super easy to use. You can add this feature by installing the Spaced Repetition plugin, or if you already use Anki, try the Obsidian Anki Sync plugin. Making flashcards takes just a few seconds. In your note, type something like this. That's it. The plugin turns that line into a flashcard automatically. You can even make close cards where you hide parts of sentences or use tags to sort your notes into groups. For the last one, let's add a bit of order to your note-taking routine. The Periodic Notes plugin works together with Templator and Calendar to help you build a steady rhythm of daily, weekly, and monthly reviews. To begin, turn on all three plugins. Then, make a weekly template, a markdown file with simple questions like, what did I learn this week? And what are my top three goals for next week? Inside that template, you can add a data view query that automatically shows every note you made in the last week. Every time you create a new weekly note, that list updates by itself. It's a small habit, but it helps keep your Obsidian setup organized and consistent. And that brings us to the end of our seven best tips for mastering Obsidian. If these tips helped you level up your note-taking, please like this video and subscribe for more in-depth PKM content. Let us know in the comments which tip you're going to implement first. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.